Yeah, so I uh, brought some poles. Uh, I was not sure of the ice and the snow and the conditions, you know, in general out here. Because it's been snowing a lot lately. Uh, but now it's, it's warm again. So I didn't get to go cross-country skiing this year. I only got to use some poles. <laughs> And you know what, I even brought firewood and the reason for that is that um, I know they've been uh, cutting down trees up here but uh, yeah so I, I, I was not sure if this area was, was the trees would be still standing um, but yeah they are luckily yeah, this video is going to be uh, about nothing. <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos where I just hang out, as the cool kids say, hang out in the woods a little bit. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, we'll have a chat as always. Now I have to sneeze. Oh. Now this is actually one of the best areas in my local woods for finding firewood but uh, if you didn't know uh, you can actually hear if the if the wood is is dry okay and you can see it <clears throat> I hope this is in camera uh, can you see I'm bending this I'm bending it that's no good, you know, because it means it's a little bit wet on the outside. So this one is wet. Um, yeah. But I'll uh, see if we can find some better firewood. And as I said, I did bring some, which I never do actually, uh, except for special occasions chainsaws I've been hearing the chainsaws all week that's not I do not like that sound because it means that my local woods you know those pockets of forest are getting smaller and fewer yeah can you hear that and if you put the wood against your, your lip actually you can feel if it's dry no. quite easy to see where it's dry, where it's wet. The dark area is wet. Inside it's dry. This is uh, spruce. Dead standing spruce. That's my favorite. It's uh, heresy to bring uh, fiber, so I won't use it. <laughs> it's a bit silly, but um, it's also about your skills and developing your skills as a woodsman and bushcrafter, I guess. It's, um, it's essential to be able to find firewood under any conditions. Uh, the exemptions would be if you're somewhere like or you're not allowed to touch the trees <laughs> uh, like in a national 
uh, nature reserve, things like that. Which we have a few of, luckily, in my local area. And now, as I said, I was a bit worried that they had uh, cut down the trees here. So, yeah. And you keep asking, which, which is great. Continue asking, but um, where do you get your uh, gear? And I put links to most of it in the video descriptions. I know lots of people now, they, they are very demotivated and they are, lots of people are depressed as well. And because, you know, things seem very difficult right now, you know, with lockdowns and more and more authoritarian, our politicians becoming more and more authoritarian and um, and all that, you know, but my attitude is that, and this should, this is always my attitude, whatever happens. Um, it, it's not what happens around you or to you that matters. It's, it's what you do, what you make out of it. Um, your actions, it's all about your actions. Some decades ago, uh, there was a, a great war the second world war um, and Norway was occupied by by the by the Nazis and uh, you know it was that was hard times you know um, and people tend to People tend to survive hard times. We don't have to be victims to our surroundings, to things that happen around us. We don't have to, and we shouldn't be. So I think that this is actually the time to take initiative, to, to do stuff, to get things done and to start new projects. And because we have, you know, it might not be the perfect time, but that perfect time will never come. And um, we have waited long enough, you know, most people, they've been in lockdown. Some people are still in lockdowns and I think nothing's going to change. You know, this is, these changes are, are here to stay more or less. So we can't be sitting around waiting for things to go back to normal. Because if you ask me, things are not going to go back to normal. So we're going to have to take initiative. We're going to have to... Uh, I'm trying to find the right words here without becoming demonetized. <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't know which rules and regulations uh, apply in your country, but um, I've said before that there are rules and regulations that if they are uh, you know, applied in Norway, I will not follow them because my morals and my ethic code comes before uh, Norwegian law, actually. Yeah, so you, you can read into that what, what you want. We have waited long enough, you know. It's time to give yourself that new start and, uh, and say enough is enough.
and uh, here we go. <laughs> I had to add some fat with that I keep in my backpack. So <clears throat> that's the magic ingredient sometimes. Let's tidy up the fire a little bit if we can. That's one of my stickers. Uh, <laughs> a bit has been torn off, but it says, make yourself unavailable. <laughs> Which is good advice, and I should follow my own advice more. Uh, I will try to do that more in the future. And of course now it's, it's stopped raining, mostly. That's why I can keep the camera outside of the tarp. Spring is here. Springtime. Doesn't look like that maybe, but uh, underneath the snow it's, uh, it's uh, warming up. And in a few days now we are getting much warmer weather. When you have made camp and especially if it's windy like today you know the wind throws your scent off in one direction and and the animals tend to come quite close from the other direction so i think there was a row there up there before i started talking yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did, and if you're not already a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. Um, yeah, it really helps the channel a lot if you do that, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. I'm, I'm looking forward to spring. I'm looking forward to warmer weather, green leaves on the trees getting the canoe back on water and all that yeah i think i'll be 
going hiking and camping a lot more this year. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Have a nice day. That is the row there. Can you see it? Oh, the zoom isn't that great, so, but it's there, I can see it. 